All right, guys, today we are, we're going to knock out two lessons today. We're going to do lesson 15 and lesson 16. Two lessons today. All right, let's check out the table of contents, see what we got rolling. All right, we are on dividing whole numbers. And today we're going to divide with arrays and area models. And then we're going to divide, uh, dividing with estimation and area models. Um, I'm going to make one little change today. I'm going to use the pop-up method uh, that we have on our, on our videos that Ms. Jay Walker made and I made. Um, I feel like that's the easiest way to go with this, and you guys do the best with that. So we're going to do the pop-up method instead of arrays and area models. All right, so the first question, um, question 1 through 12. Let's read the directions. The answers to problems 1 through 12 are mixed up at the bottom of the page. Cross out the answers as you complete the problems. Um, we're just going to go ahead and answer these problems. All right, number one, guys, 602 divided by 2. All right, so what, what we do here, there's three numbers. You're going to put your numbers in the top right corner. Put your divisor out here. Um, and then, of course, you have to divide, multiply, subtract, and we're going to bring it up. All right, so how many times does 2 go into 6? goes in 3 times. Multiply, 3 times 2 gives me 6. Subtract. Got a zero, let's bring it up. All right, how many times, start the whole process over. How many times does two go into zero? Zero, multiply, zero times two, zero. Zero minus zero is zero, bring it up. Start the whole process over. Two goes into six, three times. Multiply, three times two gives me six. Subtract, get a zero. So our remainder here is zero. There's nothing left over. So I know my quotient is 303. And some of you are already getting to that point where you can see that two goes into six three times, two goes into zero zero times, and two goes into th uh, six three times. So some of you are able to mentally uh, do these problems. Just take half a six, and you get three. So then you can come up with 303 as your quotient before doing any of this work. This is eventually, we want you to, to get to this process where you can do this mentally. And, and a lot of you are already, already getting there. Uh, let's check out number, number two. All right, guys, we have 606 divided by three. So if I were to look at this problem, um, I know I can, I can already tell that uh, six divided by three would give me two and then you know three goes into zero zero times and then finally three goes into six two times so i know my quotient is going to be 202. all right but let's use the pop-up method here to check our work i love doing work different ways um there are three numbers in our dividend so we put our 606 in the top right hand corner and put our divisor out here. Now let's find our quotient. Um, so divide, multiply, subtract, bring up. There's our four steps to our division, our division process. All right, three goes into six two times. Two times three is six. Subtract, bring up. Uh, start the whole process over. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring up. Start the whole process over. Three goes into six two times. Multiply, two times three is six. Subtract, six minus six is zero. And bring up, there's no other numbers to bring it up. So our remainder is zero. All right. All right, number three, 903 divided by three. We're going to start off here. I, I can go ahead and say that 3 goes into 9 three times. Uh, 3 goes into 0 zero times. And 3 goes into 3 
one time. So 903 divided by three is 301. All right, let's go ahead and show it in the uh, box method here. There's three numbers in my dividend. Put your dividend in the right hand corner. Uh, we have our divisor is three. And then let's go ahead and divide, multiply, subtract, bring up. So here's our four steps over here. All right, three goes into nine three times. Three times three will give me nine. Nine minus nine is zero. Bring it up. Start the whole process over. Divide, three goes into zero, zero times. Zero times three is zero. Subtract, bring up. Start the whole process over. Three goes into three, one time. One times three is three. Three minus three will give me a zero. There is nothing here, so you will not have a remainder. So 903 can be divided evenly by three, 301 times. So there are 301 groups of three, or you could say there are three groups of 301 to equal 903. Let's check out number four. All right, we're just gonna do this one with the box method. All right, divide. Multiply, subtract, bring up. There's our four steps. We have 408 divided by eight. All right, so eight goes into four zero times. Zero times eight is zero. Subtract, bring your four up. Start the whole process over. Eight goes into 45 times. Five times eight is 40. 40 minus 40 will give me zero. Bring it up. Start the whole process over. Eight goes into eight one time. One times eight is eight. Eight minus eight is zero. Our remainder is zero. We have nothing left over. So um, eight divides into 408 evenly 51 times. So there's 51 uh, groups of eight, or you could say there's eight groups of 51 will give me 408. Number five, 243 divided by three. So four steps right here, divide, multiply, divide, multiply, subtract, bring up. All right. Put our dividend in the top right corner. There's three numbers in our dividend. So there's three boxes and our divisor goes out here. Let's find our quotient. Three goes into two, zero times. Zero times three is zero, subtract, bring it up. Start the whole process over. Three goes into 24 eight times. Eight times three is 24, bring up your zero. Three goes into three one time. One times three is three. Three minus three is zero. So we know that three divides into 243, 81 times. So there's uh, three groups of 81 will equal 243. All right, 721 uh, divided by seven. So I know that seven will divide into seven one time. And I know that seven will divide into 21 three times. So I know that 721 divided by seven will be a quotient of 103. All right, let's check our work here. Put your dividend in the top right corner. Put your divisor out here. Uh, divide, multiply, subtract, bring up our four steps to the division process. Um, Seven goes into seven one time. Multiply one times seven will give me seven. Seven minus seven is zero. Bring up your zero. Seven goes into two zero times. Zero times seven is zero. Two minus zero will give me two. And bring up your two. All right, start the whole process over. Seven goes into 21 three times. Three times seven is 21. 
21 minus 21 will give me zero. We have nothing left over here, so we will not have a remainder. So I know that uh, seven divides evenly into 721, 103 times. So there's seven groups of 103. All right, five goes into five one time. And then five goes into 45 nine times. So I know there's going to be uh, five groups of 109 will give me 545. So 109 times five equals 545. All right, let's do the pop-up method here. We have division, multiplication, subtraction, and bring up our four steps to the division process. My dividend has three numbers, so I know I have three boxes, 545, and my divisor goes out here. All right, five goes into five one time. One times five is five. Five minus five is zero. Bring it up. Five goes into four zero times. Zero times five is zero. Four minus zero is four. Bring up your four. Uh, five goes into 45 nine times. Nine times five is 45, 45 minus 45 is zero. We have zero left over. So I know that five will divide evenly into 545, 109 times. Check your work, 109 times five equals 545. There are five groups of 109 will give me a total of 545. All right, number eight. 40, 488 divided by 8. Alright, we got our divisor has three numbers. So we're going to make three boxes. Our divisor goes out here. Division process, divide, multiply, subtract, bring up. Alright, 8 goes into 4 zero times. 0 times 8 is 0. 4 minus 0 is 4. Bring it up. 8 goes into 48 six times. 6 times 8 is 48. Subtract. Bring up your 0. 8 goes into 8 one time. 1 times 8 is 8. 8 minus 8 is 0. So there's nothing left over. So I know I will have 8 groups of 61 will equal 488. So 8 divides evenly into 488 61 times. Alright, number nine. 816 divided by four. Alright, I know that four. I know that four will go into eight two times. I know that four will go into sixteen four times. So two hundred four times four will equal eight hundred sixteen. Alright, let's go ahead and do our Box method here. 16, 4, divide, multiply, subtract, and bring up four steps. 4 goes into 8 two times. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 minus 8 is 0. Bring it up. 4 goes into 1 zero times. 0 times 4 is 0. Bring up your 1. 4 goes into 16 4 times. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 minus 16 is 0. We have nothing left over, so I know that 4 divides into 816 204 times. My quotient is 204. There are 4 groups of 204 to get me 816. All right, number 10. Uh, 728 divided by 8. I know that 8 will go into 72 9 times. And I know that 8 will go into 8 1 time. Alright, let's check it out. Let's do a pop-up method here. Our dividend has 3 numbers. So I have 3 boxes. My divisor goes out here. Divide, multiply, subtract bring up 8 goes into 
7 0 times 0 times 8 is 0 7 minus 0 is 7 bring it up here uh, 8 goes into 72 9 times 9 times 8 is 72 72 minus 72 is 0 bring up all right 8 goes into 8 1 time 1 times 8 is 8 8 minus 8 is 0 we have nothing left over so I know that there are eight groups of 91 to get to 728. 91 times eight is 728. So I know my quotient is 91. So 459 divided by nine. Nine goes into 45 five times. And then nine goes into nine one time. All right, our dividend has three numbers. So I know I'll have three boxes, 459 divided by nine. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring up. All right, nine goes into four, zero times. Zero times nine is zero, subtract, bring up. Nine goes into 45, five times. Five times nine is 45. 45 minus 45 is zero. Bring up that zero. Nine goes into nine one time. One times nine is nine. Nine minus nine is zero. My remainder is zero. So I know that there are nine groups of 51. So nine times 51 will give me 459. Uh, 366 divided by 6. So 6 goes into 36 6 times, and 6 goes into 6 1 time. My dividend has 3 numbers, so there will be 3 boxes. 366, and my divisor is 6. The 4 steps to the division process. I divide, multiply, subtract, bring up. Six goes into three, zero times. Zero times six is zero. Bring up that three. Six uh, goes into 36, six times. Six times six is 36. Six, 36 minus 36 is zero. Bring it up. Six goes into six one time. One times six is six. Subtract. We have zero left over, so our remainder is zero. There are six groups of 61 to equal 366. Our quotient would be 61. All right, problem number 13. What strategies did you use to solve the problems? Uh, we did a little bit of mental math, and um, we also did our, um, our pop-up method. All right, number 14, explain how to use multiplication to check your answer to problem number 10. So here's 10. Um, so anytime you have division, multiplication is the opposite of division. Um, so multiply your quotient times your divisor, and that will give you your dividend. Um, units place times your units place would be eight. And then the units place times our tens place would be 72. So you can see that 728 is equal to 728. We have checked our work. So anytime you want to check your work with division, use multiplication, vice versa. Anytime you want to check your work uh, for multiplication, use division. All right, guys, let's head on to the next page. Um, all right, so check the student's answer by multiplying the quotient by the divisor and adding the remainder. If the answer is incorrect, cross out the answer and write the correct quotient, including the remainder. All right, so let's start. Uh, you can see, um, let's, let's see the one they did. So they're checking it. They multiply 149 uh, times your divisor, which is 4, and they get 596. And then uh, they added 1 to that, the remainder. Uh, to this to get 597 and that is not the correct answer so let's go ahead and look at our uh, division process to see 
what they did wrong. Um, so you got your dividend has three numbers, so you have three boxes. Put your divisor out here. Uh, divide, multiply, subtract, and bring up. All right, four goes into six one time. One times four is four. Subtract, you get two. Bring that two up. Four goes into 23 uh, five times. Five times four is 20. 23 minus 20 will give me three. Bring up your three. Four goes into 37 nine times. Nine times four is 36. Subtract, and you get a one. So my correct quotient would be 159 remainder one. All right, we're gonna take our quotient and multiply it by our divisor. So 69 times two, 18, 12, 13, uh, plus one, because we're gonna add our remainder here, be 139. And we can see that 139 does equal our dividend, so we are good to go. All right, 188 divided by 5 equals 38 remainder 2. So we're going to take our quotient and multiply it by our divisor. We got 38 times 5. Now we get 40. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 4 is 19. Uh, 190 plus 2, our remainder will be 192, and you can see that does not equal 188. So let's go ahead and uh, do the division process here. Let's see, scoot that out of the way. We have three boxes because our dividend has three numbers 188. Our divisor is 5. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring up. All right, five goes into one, zero times. Zero times five is zero. Subtract, one. Bring up that one. Five goes into 18 three times. Three times five is 15. 18 minus 15 is three. Bring up that three. Five goes into 38 seven times. Seven times five is 35. Subtract, you get a remainder of three. All right, so let's take our quotient times our divisor. Uh, you get seven times five is 35. Five times three is 15 plus three is 18. So add our remainder. And you get a total of 188, which equals our dividend. So we know we have gotten the correct uh, quotient of 37 remainder 3. All right, let's do our quotient times our divisor. 42, 35. Four, add your three, 345, and 345 does not equal 344. All right, so let's go ahead and divide this out. Our dividend has three numbers. Our divisor is six. Uh, divide, multiply, subtract, bring up. So six goes into three zero times. Zero times six is zero. Three minus zero is three. Bring up your three. Six goes into 34 five times. Five times six is 30. 34 minus 30 will give me four. Bring up that four. Six goes into 44 seven times. Seven times six is 42. Subtract and you get a remainder of two. All right, so we have 57 times 6, 42, 34, plus our remainder will equal 344, and that does equal our dividend.
So I know that my correct quotient would be 57 remainder 2. All right, so we have 58 times 9 would be 72. 45 plus 7 would be 52. And that does not equal 458. So let's go ahead and draw out our boxes. We have 458 divided by 9. Uh, so we have divide, multiply, subtract, and bring up. All right, 9 goes into 4 0 times. 0 times 9 is 0. Subtract, bring up. 9 goes into 45 5 times. 5 times 9 is 45. Subtract, bring up. Uh, 9 goes into 8 0 times. 0 times 9 is 0. 8 minus 0 is 8. My remainder is 8. Alright, let's go 50 times 9. I get 0 and then 45 and then add your remainder and you get 458 and 458 equals a dividend of 458 so I know my, my correct uh, quotient would be 50 remainder 8 alright next one 31 times my divisor would be 217 uh, plus my remainder be 222 and that does equal my dividend so I know that this is the correct quotient all right my next one we have uh, 85 my quotient times my divisor uh, 5 times 8 is 40 8 times 8 is 64 plus 4 is 68 uh, plus my remainder is 684 and that does not equal my dividend so I need to go ahead and work this problem out my dividend has three numbers so I have three boxes 692 divided by my divisor four steps divide multiply subtract bring up all right so eight goes into six zero times 0 times 8 is 0. Bring up your 6. 8 goes into 69 8 times. 8 times 8 is 64. 69 minus 64 is 5. Bring that 5 up. 8 goes into 52. A total of uh, 6 times. 6 times 8 is 48. 52 minus 48 will give me 4, so my remainder is 4. Um, 86 my quotient uh, times 8 48 64 68 uh, plus my remainder equals 692 and that does equal my dividend so my correct quotient would be 86 remainder Four. All right, guys, we have 169, my quotient times my divisor. Uh, 9 times 3 is 27. So that would be 20. 507 plus 2, 509. And that does not equal my dividend. So I need to go ahead and work it out here. My dividend has three numbers, so there's three boxes divided by my divisor. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring up. All right, three goes into four one time. One times three is three. Four minus three is one. Bring up that one. Three goes into 17 uh, five times. Five times three is 15. 17 minus 15 is two. Bring up that 2. 3 goes into 29 uh, 9 times. 9 times 3 is 27. Subtract. 
29 minus 27 is 2, so my remainder is 2. So my, my quotient should be 159, remainder 2. Go ahead and multiply my quotient times my divisor, 27, 15, 16, 17, 477 plus 2 will equal 479. So 479 uh, equals 479, so we are good. 159 remainder 2 is our quotient. Write a word problem that could be solved by one of the problems. So I chose 222 divided by 7 equals 31 remainder 5. Alright, so once you go and solve the problem, 222 and your divisor 7. Uh, divide, multiply, subtract, bring up. 7 goes into 2 0 times. 0 times 7 is 0. 2 minus 0 is 2. Bring up your 2. 7 goes into 22 3 times. 3 times 7 is 21. 22 minus 21 is 1. Bring your 1 up. 7 goes into 12 1 time. 1 times 7 is 7. 12 minus 7 is 5. So we have 31 remainder 5. So I can see that 31 kids will be going on each bus. And we have a total of 222 students going on the trip. And there's a remainder of 5. Alright, so let's check out the question. It says if each bus can hold 31 students, period, will they have enough buses for the students to go on the field trip? Alright, so I know what the answer is, but some of you may be a little bit confused, so let me go ahead and draw this out for you. The, the answer to this is no. They will not have enough buses. They will need one extra bus and how many kids will go on that last bus? Let's go ahead and draw a picture up. So here's one bus, two buses, three, four, five, six. There's a total of seven buses. Each bus is going to have 31 kids. 31, 31, 31, and 31. So if we do 31 times 7, we get a total of 217. And 217 is 5 less than 222. So they will need an 8th bus, and that 8th bus will only carry 5 of the kids. So the answer is no, they will not have enough buses for them to go on the field trip unless they get an 8th bus and put 5 kids on that bus. Alright guys. Appreciate everybody sticking through there. I know that was a long lesson today. We knocked out two, but thank you very much for paying attention and uh, watching those videos. I will see everybody tomorrow. Keep on dividing. Take care.